Hi, hello. Today we are going to talk about another coding pattern, slow and fast pointer. It is very interesting. That is also called toe ties and hair problem. And this is also called like Floyd's cycle detection algorithm. This coding pattern is very interesting. Like the slow word mean it is a toe ties and fast is meant from hair is like a hair. So in in our childhood, when we read some stories about tortoise and hare, it was also interesting that whenever they are in enmity of each other, their hair was teasing all the time to tortoise that you can't do something or you can't do that. So once they have a challenge and hare says, all right, we can have a race. So I think tortoise make a challenge to him. So hare was actually confident that he can win the race very easily from tortoise. So what he does on his way here was just taking rest on rat house, then he is taking rest on a beer house, and then finally he is sleeping on some pond, and then tortoise just keep on persistent and just cross the line, and then he win the race. So from tortoise, what we learned the lesson that you have to be perseverance and you have to be hardworking. You had to you just keep on moving forward. So. From here, he was just thinking that he's fast paced, he can just win the race. So whenever they are together, they give some uh, some very interesting lessons. And in this algorithm, they are going to help a lot of algorithmic questions. When they are together, they say, we will generate a coding pattern and you can easily solve some interview question very easily following the same coding pattern. So these are some lead code questions I have mentioned here. That's their number. This is their description. There will be a lot of others wherever those uh, conditions actually will satisfy and then you can just implement that coding pattern so you can solve those questions. Let's see what this slow and fast coding pattern. All right, so the concept is very simple. It is similar to two pointer coding pattern. And in this case, it is using, it is looking for a directional data structure like any directional data structure. In that case, it could be an array or that could be a string, or that could be a linked list. So for such type of data, directional data structure, this slow and fast coding pattern is used. And in that case, slow normally moves one, like the it moves the factor of one, and fast pointer moves with a factor of two. It depends Either we have to go with the factor two, or you have to come up with some custom solution and you can just hop with the factor of three or four, whatever. It depends with the question statement. So this in that case, what we come to know that it is very similar to two point coding pattern used in direction data structure, like array, string, linked list. In array, it is actually using indices and in linked list, actually, it is using pointers to move. Third thing we come to know that slow pointer moves with a factor of one, fast pointer move, moves with a factor of two, or it depends with a custom solution. There is one more difference, so we can know that two pointer actually, this two pointer coding pattern is mostly concerned and it is looking into data values. So whatever the data values, so it moves with that like in binary search one pointer look at the very start and the other one looks in some place and then you compare the values so in this two pointer it is mainly concerned with the data value and in slow and fast coding pattern it is mainly concerned with the traits like distinguishable features of like some feature of the data structure so the slow and fast pointer is actually looking for the trait or the feature of the particle data structure, like cycle detection, length of the cycle, how, how, much, how much the length of the cycle, where the cycle in the particular area start. So such type of trait and feature, find the middle of the linked list. So that type of feature is actually was being found by slow and fast coding pattern and two pointer is mainly looking into data values. So it is not looking at the feature. So these are the main points that 
slow and fast pointer we should know about that here i will show that how they will move and they will detect a cycle that will be very interesting and let's see suppose it is our slow pointer and that's our fast pointer all right now what will happen at the very start they will be on the very first node so that's the first node at the very start they will be together but in most of the statements we can just use second pointer here like the hair will be on the second pointer and tortoise will be on the first we can do that too but here we just put them on the same node at the very start and now tortoise will make a hop of a factor of one so it will jump and go to like the next node and this one tortoise will make a hopping of two like one and two it will go there now tortoise will move one step forward and then this here will make a hopping of two then the slow pointer will move forward next and fast will go one and two then slow will move forward one and fast will move one and two and then slow will move one step forward and then this fast will move one and two here so at this point actually they found there is a cycle so there they detect that there is a cycle now that's the first question whenever they were asking about that to detect a cycle in this way when they're moving slow is moving with the factor of one fast is moving with a factor of two they can detect a cycle like this now if they will ask where actually that cycle start now what we will do when we will detect the cycle so in this case like here we detect the cycle now we will just pick one pointer and we will put that at the very start like here we will just pick it up and put that at the very start now the next what we will do we will say okay that slow pointer will hop with the one factor and that will also move with the one factor here that will move forward here that will move forward next step here that will move forward next step here and that's it we will find that on this particular endpoint actually they were having the cycle so there in this particle node we know that there the cycle starts so in this way we can go also when we actually found a cycle at this point we can also find the length of the cycle like one pointer start moving forward like here if i will just show you when these two pointer was here that's the first one that the first one the second one when they were here in that case one cycle one pointer just start moving one two three four five and then they can find yes that's the number of cycle the length of cycle so in this case they can find the length of cycle so this is the slow fast slow and fast pointer and that's how it works now let's see how we will distinguish how we'll identify some that the coding pattern we can apply on the particle question like what type of things when we detect in some question and we will say yes we can apply slow and fast coding pattern and when we will even find like there are some symptoms which say yeah you can apply coding pattern but no we should not let's go forward welcome back so in this place we have i have mentioned when not to apply and on the right side i have mentioned when to apply this slow and fast coding pattern so the first thing of course we have to keep on noticing that that data structure should be iterable as i have already discussed and in iterable data structure what we are thinking it could be a linked list that could be a string that could be an array and that could be also some type of symbolic uh made custom string or anything to, which could be iterable in that case if we have such type of data structure and they're asking to detect a cycle and that, that cycle detection could be as an intermediate intermediate step or that could be a final solution so in both cases you can use slow and fast coding pattern that's the first thing that's all the cycle detection that's the reason also it is also called floyd cycle detection algorithm for the second one again it could be an intermediate part or that could be a final solution you have to find the middle element of a linked list and you already you don't know the size of linked list at the very start in that case slow and fast coding pattern is good 
If you know the size of linked list at the very start, there is no need for slow and fast coding pattern because if you know already, then you just have to take one pointer and you just have to hop it up to that point to find the value of this middle element. Now, detecting entry point of cycle, I have already shown that how to find entry point of a cycle when you detect a cycle that was here. In that case, what you do, you just pick one pointer at the very start and on this, and it keep on moving forward and that one moving forward from here, at this point they will meet and we will find the entry point of cycle. And the third, fourth point, cycle length detection. So in that case, you can also find, in the middle element also, you can find the kth loss element of a linked list. You can also go with the slow and fast coding pattern. So such type of question could be said in a very different way, not like a link list, find the value of this. It could be like a scenario based question and you had to just map it with the data structure to all those entities. And the fifth point, yeah, exactly. I just put the, put it like a condition here that that should be an iterable data structure. And on this part here on the left, like when we should not apply slow and fast coding pattern, the first is non-cyclic data processing. When you don't have a data structure which can have a cycle and uh, in that case there is no need for using slow and fast coding pattern and when it is a value based comparison for sure as already discussed in case of value based comparison you better go with the two pointer coding pattern or some other one rather than going with a slow and fast coding pattern don't, don't go with that because this is mostly looking for the trait and some feature of the data structure rather than the value value based comparison to move forward and yeah so you can use for the value based comparison two pointer or some other one for the graph traversal with a complex structure so let's suppose if you have a graph that has a complex structure it is pointing here that's pointing two three others so in such typo for sure you can either go with the bfs or you can go with a dfs or some other type of graph traversal algorithm rather than going with slow and fast coding pattern. So complete data structure traversal when it is required, they're like that in the question, the complete data structure traversal is required. So there is no need of going through slow and fast coding pattern. So first this pointer has must have to go all the way up to here to find something max or whatever. So there is no need for that. If the data structure is non iterable data structure in that case don't use slow and fast coding pattern because for sure you can't traverse them properly and maybe you won't come up with a solution so these are the simple to do like when you have to apply this and when you don't have to apply this i think that will make sense now go with the coding template how we will use it all right so for the coding template it is very simple and we can just change it a little bit as per different question and we can find the solution. Let's suppose in a very simple way when they are saying to do, we have to detect the cycle, like cycle, cycle detection. So what we have to do, let's suppose we can give a name to a function. So in that case, let's suppose they will provide you the head, which will be the head of the linked list. We have, let's suppose some linked list and it is a directional linked list. Remember that also. So that should be directional linked list. Okay. So in the directional linked list, they will provide you the head and they will say detect if there is any cycle which comes here in this linked list, how we have to go. The, the code will be very simple. Let's suppose you say there is a def. You will say go. I'm using Scala, but you can use any language with the same pattern. So they will say go. You will make the slow pointer, which will be, let's suppose, the linked list node, and you will make a fast pointer, which will be the linked list node. And you will return at the end, that will be the Boolean. Like, yeah, we found the cycle. So in this case, so this is the function, whatever the description will be, we will come up with that, but just define the definition that this is the function we are going to use. And what we will do, we will say, go, with the head is the slow pointer. We will just say you know, that's a slow pointer at the very start and head dot next will be our fast pointer. 
So this function will return the boolean that if there will be a cycle or there is no cycle. So when we'll say go or you can say cycle, detect cycle, whatever the name you can give to this function. So what you will do at the very start, you will say a base condition when you say if, let's suppose slow is equal to the fast when they're on the same node, true. Yeah, we found a cycle. If that base condition doesn't satisfied, we will go with the second one. Else if. Else if means that when we will say, we will ch make a check on the fast, that this fast pointer, let's suppose if there is no cycle in a linked list, and this fast pointer it has reached up to some length. So we are going to check if it is not going beyond the length and if it is not pointer to the null. So if fast pointer is pointing to null or fast pointer next is not, is if it is equal to null also, because we are considering that this fast pointer is making the hop of two. So he's making the hop of two. So in that case, we is we are putting the check on the fast pointer as well as on the next. So we will say that both of them are not pointing to null. If they are pointing to null, we will return false. So it means that up to that point, like the fast pointer has reached at the end of the linked list, like it has reached here and outside of that. So we never found any cycle. And else, which is the final part, we will just call this function again. And in that case, we will say slow will go to the next one, the, uh, the way as we have discussed. And for the fast, we will say fast has to go with the next dot next. So we he's making the hop of two and he, it is making the hop of one and that keep on going. So this question, which is using for the cycle detection, that's a simple, very, very basic template. Also like here, this is the way that it is going to work. That you have a slow pointer, the fast pointer, and this logic can be changed as per the question. But it could be an intermediate step or that could be the final solution. And that's it. So hopefully you enjoy this. Thanks.